Hello. My name is Father Rosendo Urabaso with the Claritian Missionaries. Here to share with you some reflections for Easter Sunday, 2023. A few years ago, I made my brother a homemade pizza. I got all the ingredients, prepared the dough, and put it in the oven. I'm not sure what went wrong. But the result was a hard piece of cardboard. Maybe I'd left it in the oven too long, or that the yeast was that I was using was too old. I'm still waiting for a second chance. I thought about this story because of the second reading today, uh, that it talks about yeast and leaven and unleavened bread. Today, the Christian community celebrates the resurrection of Jesus. The first reading from Acts of the Apostles calls on us to be witnesses to Jesus, whom God anointed with the Holy Spirit and power. The second reading calls on us to be raised with Christ, to get rid of the old yeast of, of malice and wick wickedness, and to put in the new yeast of sincerity and truth, and to seek out what is good and to work for healing. The Gospel of John tells the story about how Mary of Magdala was the first to tell the apostles that the tomb was empty. Easter is a time to ask ourselves, how do we respond to the empty tomb? Mary thought that someone had stolen the body. Peter entered the tomb, but says nothing, as if he's kind of still struggling with his faith. Only John, the beloved apostle, the, the beloved disciple, sees and believes. The gospel portrays John as the model disciple who believes in the resurrection of the Lord. Yet, he did not see Jesus rise from the dead. He only saw that the tomb was empty. But that was enough for him. His faith made a quantum leap from empty tomb to resurrection. The empty tomb is not proof of the resurrection. Rather, it is a call, an invitation to those who already believe to have faith that death has not separated Jesus from his disciples. We believe that death is not the end of our relationship with God, only the beginning of a new way of relating to God, one that breaks all barriers, even the barrier of death itself. The gospel presents John as the model of what a disciple should be. Only in John's gospel is he at the foot of the cross next to the mother of Jesus. He goes beyond his fear and stands by Jesus and his mother. Our faith is not based on the science of a body rising from the dead. Rather, it is based on a faith that God's spirit in Jesus lives on. It lives on in his disciples who, like John, have the courage to do good for others and to work for healing of those in pain. Death does not separate us from Jesus. This act of faith becomes credible to others when we are visible witnesses in the good works that we do and in the forgiveness that we give to one another. Our preaching cannot be just words. It is primarily by putting our faith into action. Then Jesus rises in us. And then Jesus is credible in us. Jesus is the yeast in my life. He puts me, he helps me to leave my empty tomb and to rise to my better self. He sees and believes in me. Jesus believes in my resurrection. When the time comes, I'll make my brother another pizza. And this time, I'll not forget to put some good yeast in. I wish all of you a blessed Easter.